Michael, what do you tell your patients when they ask you what is Parkinson's? It's a great question, and it's actually not always the easiest thing to answer because it's many things. Uh, Parkinson's was first described in the early 19th century by James Parkinson's, who actually followed some patients around London and noticed certain characteristics that he grouped together in the disorder that now bears his name. Uh, it's a combination, classically, of a series of what we call motor symptoms that include stiffness, slowness, and tremor, in some combination often, that leads usually to the diagnosis. But Parkinson's, as I'm sure we can talk about uh, over the course of this session, is much more than just a constellation of specific motor symptoms. Well, that's great. Um, so the important things to take away from what you said is that it's a constellation of symptoms. It can include slowness, it can include stiffness or tremor or a combination of any of those symptoms that a patient could be afflicted with. Right. And you know, a lot of people have in their mind, you know, Parkinson's equals tremor. Yeah. And as you know, uh, about a third of Parkinson patients don't have tremor. So Parkinson's can look like different things in different people, but usually there is at least some combination of, if not the tremor, then the stiffness and the slowness uh, to make the diagnosis. But as you know, Parkinson's can look very different. Even the tremor can look different mm -hmm. from patient to patient. So it does require uh, a certain degree of clinical uh, diligence in making the diagnosis.